Greetings and welcome. It's Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you're doing well today. I'm recording this episode on the April the 13th, 7.58 a.m. Central African Time. The subject matter is of a mature nature and, and deals with possible true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. All right, so today's episode, the first half is going to be a, we can say a follow-on from the Eclipse video I did. Um, because in that time we had the Taiwanese earthquake. I've included that in this reading as well as the New Jersey, New York um, earthquake and through my investigations um, I've picked up some additional information that might be of interest regarding uh, other countries all right so let's get into it uh, and also yeah let's get into it all right so yeah we have the Taiwanese earthquake sequence as well as the New Jersey New York sequence um, now as a premise um, I was looking at the historical charts which I'll give you a glimpse here we will deal with this at the second half of the show these are historical earthquakes looking for patterns, sequences, um, any kind of way of seeing if there is some kind of pattern. Now, of course, the sample pool is very small. However, the three earthquakes are from the same region. So I think that will give us a good indication. And of course, we can develop it further um, in f uh, future episodes. So having done that, I believe I've got a benchmark in terms of, let's call it natural earthquakes. <laughs> because I've got the 1906 earthquake and the 1971 earthquake. And I've also got the 1989 earthquake. Um, of course, by 1989, we can agree technology would have been in some kind of way shape or form but i believe those are quite safe in identifying uh, natural occurring earthquakes so with that in mind i looked at the taiwanese earthquake as well as the new jersey new york earthquake um, to see if there's actually comparison with the more historical um, earthquakes um, but when I started looking at the Taiwanese and New Jersey earthquake, I started picking up, I believe, anomalies. And let me be very clear, unnatural anomalies. Now, I'm pretty much halfway, and I'll keep this slide as it is. So this is where I'm starting, and this, I'm about halfway now on this slide. And I wanted to complete it with you because just on an eyeball test, me just in my head looking at these numbers, meditating on it, uh, started pinging on me and I, I got the, I was led to look up Russia. So in the middle there on the left, we have the Russian uh, date of birth. Now I will just put a disclaimer here. In my previous episode I did with Vladimir Putin, there's a, I had it as the same date, December 12th, so in the day is still the same for Russia. However, I used the 1993 date in the previous episode, and that date was actually when the constitution changed, which in, in my error, and apologies, that is the incorrect date. The 1991 date is when... Uh, the transition from the old Soviet Cold War Russia or the Soviet Union 
to the Fed, you know the Russian Federation as we know it now. So that is December 12, 1991. Okay. Um, I had a look at the Federal Security Service that's within the Russian government. That's the equivalent of, let's say, the FBI, if you like. Uh, they're more inland issues. And interestingly, I found as part of their mandate is scientific and technical services. Interesting. And then we have Vladimir Putin's date of birth. Then we have the uh, China's date of birth. And then we got Xing Jinping, Xing Jinping date of birth there as well. So I just want to repeat myself quickly. I initially looked at this chart from a geological context. And from that context, and I've already marked with the triangles and the columns, which you may be familiar with, where we have the group and mass of eights. So now, of course, the Taiwanese sequence overlaps the New Jersey because it happened in the same week, but I did create a separate sequence. So one, I look at it individually, and then we can also compare. So I've lined up both the date of events. So the Taiwanese was April the 3rd, and the New Jersey was April the 5th. So if, if we just stay on top for a minute, I'm going to, let's talk Taiwan first, because that, that technically was the first earthquake in the week. Although since having done that eclipse show on April the 2nd, um, I've delved into the world of earthquakes and, and of course, I, I don't mean to sound too naive, <laughs> but I'm not a geologist. Um, earthquakes are as frequent as rainstorms. Let's put it that way, uh, which for me was quite surprising. And I'll show you this picture here. These are all the plates. I got this from a YouTube video, biggest earthquakes, mega disasters. So I got some of my content or at least the dates from this episode. And it's just incredible how sensitive this planet is, isn't it? And how fragile we are as a humanity. And then we have human beings, well, let's say, um, creating unnatural disasters, in my opinion. So as mentioned, from a geological point of view, we can definitely see an imbalance of eights in both the sequences. Now, the 15-6 on April the 3rd, we're going to just focus on Taiwan first quickly. 15-6 for me is problematic. 15-6 is not a geological number. Fifteen six is a human number with an outcome six human. And that five is the nonsense, deception, corruption, issues created, created. So a more geological number, for example, can be four, can be eight, can be seven. But when you have an outcome, 15-6. So what causes the disruption here? That number three. That number three. So I've just added Xing Jinping. He has a 12-3-3 outcome. He has a 12-3 in the day.
Now, we have a 12-3 with Russia. We have a double 12-3 with Russia. We have a three-match with the Federal Security Service. And in fact, we have a direct match, 4 plus 3, 7. Now, let me just explain how this ping situation works, right? The more numbers that are matching, so we've got a date and event, date of event. Then we look at the potential perpetrators. And believe me, I, I went through a number of other dates of births, other countries, other people and eventually found more than enough pings here with these group of people. And it just, it, it is ironic if, if you're not really up to speed with world affairs, particularly on that side of the world. Um, China's been trying to take away Taiwan like Russia did with Crimea. And that's, that's the, I'm sure you're aware, but that's the tension on that side of the world at the moment. And America is heavily invested in that service as well. Americans would know. Um, and when you have a Taiwanese earthquake and an American earthquake in the same week, uh, literally two days apart. It's, I don't know, is it coincidence that, and I'll show you. So we've got a four plus three, seven direct match with Federal Security Service. Of course, we are in an eight year. Now, now this is when we look around the world and you see all these weather systems that happened over this time as well. Weather systems. I mean, in South Africa alone, in Cape Town, we have never ever had, as far as I can recall, 170 kilometer hour winds. And I believe that equates to, I think I did make a post, 102, 108 miles per hour we've never i've been in cape town when the wind was 40 kilometers an hour and believe me i could barely stand so and all all these weather patterns also happened around the same time as well and of course we see the anomalies in the eights masses of eights so while i was um um, putting out these dates and meditating. The 15-6 on this day bothered me from the beginning. And somewhere along the line here, there's interference. And of course, the six pings also on the Federal Security Services. In fact, let me start highlighting here so we can uh, see how much bingo matches we have. And this is what it is. The more matches there are, the greater the likelihood that these people were involved. And we know the long-standing issue between, um, let's say, the alliance of America and Taiwan and China and Russia. And a few years ago, um, I was working on a, I'm just highlighting numbers here quickly. You would already see them in the time traveler version. Um, a few years ago, while I was meditating on a actual missing persons case that I was looking into on my own, on my own in South Africa, um, Without realizing it, I was in a meditative state for about seven hours. 
And at the peak of that, I had a glimpse of China, Russia, and America situation. Now, I know it's easy to say, but I'm not really going to reference that experience. But to say these three countries were involved. But what I'm getting to is I let that go. And then, of course, the Ukraine war happened. And I, I still, I didn't delve into, I did one video on the Ukraine war. But ironically, doing this earthquake show, this situation has come around. In retrograde. And I would say probably at the right time when, well, let's just say my skills are a little bit more advanced now versus four years ago, let's say, in terms of numerology. The visions were clear. So we got direct pings on um, that 15.6 is human made, human. Uh, we note Russia also has the 24.6. And I'm just double checking everyone else. And let me tell you, Vladimir Putin's numbers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, and we'll get to him now. All right, so we also note now for me, so I've got there obviously conveniently the machine was switched on around about 8 o'clock. So everyone was out of their homes on the way to school. Everyone was out in the masses main. Because it's still experimental, 7 experimental. The next day, 16, 7, 7 experimental. Um, now my intention wasn't to go not say conspiracy but when there's too many matches something's not right now I'm just highlighting the Russian date of birth and I'll draw your attention to 44.8 now that's the capacity, 44.8, to build electronics, mechanical machine, eight of this nature, in my opinion, 44.8, which is a sad thing because 44, and the reason why I say that is the 44.8 is a power number, designed and intended for good, let's say, or manufacturing, um, purpose-built, human-friendly situations, let's say. However, we have a situation where, because of the 12-3, 12-3, high control issues, high control issues, and not only very high control issues, also very high emotional issues. 20 with an outcome 2. And that 44.8 is a big big industrial engineering manufacturing powerhouse building number so the capacity is there so lots of eights around and we of course in an eight year no coincidences there either All right. Now, what what also stood out for me, so we've covered the 15.6 pings also on the Federal Security Services, uh, Russian date of birth, and Jinping. All right. Now, I was also drawn to the seven in the middle. Um, in fact, I'm going to do a circle around the seven because... The seven is obviously part of that three number collective. And I'll show you what I'm getting to in a second because I've spotted another match here. Or well, Spirit led me to, um, told me there's matches here with the sevens. So we got the seven in the day of uh, Taiwan day. 
And we've also got um, the seven outcome of China and the seven outcome of Russia. Now that's why I made the circle because there's a square there already. This is just my own personal reference. It just helps me. Uh, when the book comes out, by the way, it's going well. I would say the heavy bulk is done. We're just fine tuning, making sure everything is correct. Um, you can assimilate this into your own systems or your own way of doing things. And of course, it does. Uh, numerology, of course, there is a standalone uh, system anyway. Uh, but for those that are psychic and more clairvoyant orientated can be incorporated as a tool or part of. I do note in the book, you don't have to be psychic to know what, how, these, how this works. I promise you, it's very simple and fascinating. So we've got the pings on the sevens. And we... There are no coincidences here, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately. So, currently the entire April the 3rd, and I'm just finishing off the 4 now, because that pings directly on the Secret Service. And I promise you, when I thought of the Secret Service initially, when I looked at it, I thought, well, the, uh, why would they, you know, and then I saw, like, you know, why would they be involved? Um, that's why it's kind of funny that they scripted as um, internal, like FBI, but uh, when I saw scientific and technical services, Ah, all in the open to see. All right. Mm, I haven't. I'll. You'll see the version where I'm working on the top with the middle uh, dates, dates, and then at the bottom, we'll work on next. Uh, but I won't show you that bottom yet until we get there. All right, so the entire April 3rd, oh, we've got a three. Oh, we've got lots of threes, ladies and gentlemen. There's a three, there was an open three there as well. And the most significant threes will be Russia, December. Even the day. Because it's a direct match then. We've, of course, got the three in the security services. And of course, Zingping is all threes himself. Lots of feminine energy there. Now, he's also got a lot of threes. Um, this person, and he has a hidden 21 three, the, the most horrific crime number in the world. Well, at least part of a batch of four, I would say. Um, All about control, 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 control. President until he passes, type person. Or however they work it in China. And I believe he was just put back in power now as well. Same with uh, Vladimir Putin, uncontested. There's a surprise. All right, so we've got lots of pings all over the place here. The following day, April 4th, 2024, we've got the double four, triple eights anomalous. 16, seven with a seven outcome pings directly on Vladimir Putin. And on China. But it's a very direct match. Uh, and also with China, 16, seven, also China. Ooh, direct match with China as well. 
I'm just, I decided to start recording halfway. I was going to be very diligent on this, make sure. But the historical stuff I finished in the week. And I started the um, these two yesterday. Um, but it started looking very interesting. So we could direct map both 16 sevens. Coincidence or not? All right, so we've got lots of matches again on April the 4th. The April the 5th, we have the lineup of the eights. Now, we'll, I'm going to go deeper into it when we get to New Jersey, New York situation. But I want to draw your attention, and I haven't even put a square on it yet, and I'm going to now. The 17-8 with an 8 outcome. I'll go deeper about this because I've got a theory about the nine and the and the column of eights. I'll get to that when we do New Jersey. The 17-8 pings directly on VP, Vladimir Putin. And in fact, he has a triple 17-8. This guy is quite unstable. Uh, very unstable. Um, so we have a direct match there as well. So Putin's got those triple 17 eights, very unstable. We note the rack of eights and the 17 eight. April the 6th. So we got the 4, 6, 10, 1 outcome in the day. So 10, 1 is the anomalous event. Um, the 6 we know pings on Russia. Pings on ZP, Zinping. Four pings on Russia. I mark them as I go. Eight pings on Russia. Now, this is the summary day. Three days after an event. It's just amazing how numerology works. There's a summary. So, the 10 1, I mean, what I said before is correct, but in this case, 10-1 is an organizational event, organizational coming together. And 18-9, now let me, let's just clarify something here, because obviously a crime perspective is different to a, let's say, geological, is different to a scientific, for example, mindset, mindset. It's about mindset and understanding those sectors have a general understanding. Now the 189 speaks about and and I've just been I've just been reminded actually as confirmation and it's coming on strong. Um, the 189 is about invention. Electronic invention eight. Eight electronic man-made engineering mechanical. More mechanical engineering, eight, nine, invention. The machine. Nine speaks about the idea, about the invention. Um... Now, once the dust settles, 72 hours later, from a numerology point of view, we can see the picture. 
and all the bits of information, clues, lie between April the 3rd to April the 6th. For the event and those involved of the event on April the 3rd, we're going to move over to, now we're going to move over to New Jersey, New York. And let me just, all right, so that's where you're going to see the graph till then. Now I will update and we're going to start working on the New Jersey, New York situation. And I've, I've just been told the second time, well, we'll do a final check, Nana. Uh, perhaps the second part of this video will be a part two um, because I don't want to rush through that and I also don't want to make this too long. Um, um, but let's get into New York and I don't want to rush New York either because now we're going to look at this now. April the 5th, 2024 is when um, New Jersey, New York uh, had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake and there was a, a larger one as well shortly after at 6 o'clock as well. Uh, what was that one? I don't have it on my chart at the moment. It was a 4.8 and a, I think a 3, yeah? Let me just check here quickly. Sorry. I thought I had written it down. Uh, 2.6, eh? No, that was on the... Hmm? You guys had another... Serious little tremor there on the April 10, 2.6. So, so the after, after was a 3.8. 3.8. All right, so I'll have it as 4.8 .8 and a 3.8. So I'm getting lots of confirmations during this reading, ladies and gentlemen. Fortunately and unfortunately, because when I saw that 15.6 on April the 3rd, and you know, I'll just say this now quickly. Um, it's not that I'm, I don't want to do prophecy readings because I do receive actually a lot of visions, or I have in the past. Uh, the most recent one was on March the 18th where I received a vision. I'll add that onto my, um, I've started a diary on my um, Google website. So if you ever want to pop in there, uh, have a look at if there's any new messaging that I received for global or visions or any information related to the channel. I'll put like a little running commentary there. Just nice little interesting elements as well. Um, the fifteen six is ha is yeah handmade, man made, human interference, perversion even. The outcome is a perversion. By all those pinged in orange and got squares and blocks around them. All right. Now, on the day when New York had a 4.8, which in the history of New Jersey and New York, they've never had, you guys have never had anything more like a two or three, maybe even. Three might be even a bit much. Of course, the West Coast is prone, and I've got three Californian quakes we're going to look at. Um, so in my mind, and what I was going to say is, I do receive visions and messaging. Um, and it's not normal that I, how can I put it? If I get it, there's something wrong, seriously. <laughs> you know, I know that sounds kind of obvious, but it means there's there's some serious something. Um, because it's unnatural. 
So we get to April 5, 2024. Now, like a crime event, there must be direct matches on the day as well. Yes. Three days later, we get a summary. But I need to put the perpetrator at the crime scene, and the crime scene is the day of the event. And if we get those matches there, we have our potential perpetrators without a shadow of a doubt. And I'm just including now, I've just realized even more confirmation. 17.8 outcome for April 5 pings directly on um, uh, VP the year that he's born in, 17.8. Now, that's just the 17.8 where the year is born in and the 17 outcome are the same. If I mean, they're, they're, they're different in where they're positioned, but they have the same significance. It's very prominent, significant um, at the scene. So in this case, obviously not at the scene, but part of this situation. We have the day starting with a five. Now, that's already for me problematic. That five in this context, in the human context, is when humans behave badly. Let's just say that for, well, it is that and more, and a lot worse depending. But the five in a negative situation would suggest humans behaving badly and we know china has a 23 5 in the year that they are born five there's a five on the day now that five is positioned as um it can be the start of the idea in other words why don't we do this and then someone else takes over and completes it if you know what i mean and vice versa even. What, what, what troubles me about April the 5, and this is now I'm going to speak about this 9 and the stack of 8s. It, it's, it's almost like it's too perfect. Do you know what I mean? Now, I know we've spoken about these situations in a crime situation, particular with Harry, uh, particular with the um, Kate Middleton issue, communication. But if we're looking at it now from a scientific technology point of view, and to, to give you some assistance with this, I did two videos um, on alien sightings, alien abductions. Um, there's two of them on my channel. And I started working on a theory um, just before I got called onto this film um, where we see these patterns. We got the nine in the day and a column of exact same numbers. Very At every UFO situation, we've got it. Okay. The the lineup for me is is very. It's perfect technology. If if that does that make sense. So we've got the initial earthquake at ten twenty three Eastern uh, Eastern time, and then also around six p.m. Now technically that would fall between the nine and the eight in the middle of the day, nine and eight. And so I'm just checking, so I've been drawn, my attention's been drawn to April the 6th with the outcome nine. So nine, we've got that machine element there. Now, my theory, and I, and I still want to develop it more because I believe it to be true, or at least in not to be true, but in the zone, on the right track, let's say, that when you have a 
mass eruption in the in the Earth's atmosphere, we see these anomalies, the the misplaced numbers, stack of numbers, the alignment of the same numbers, um, high technology, high frequency technology. Um, so to me, to have, and I call it a universal key, I believe, something to that effect. I haven't watched those videos for a while. Um, but I was getting into it that when you have a nine in the day and the same stack of numbers, it's not always eights, it could be seven, six, fives, whatever the numbers are, but there's always a perfect alignment. It's almost like the machine's been switched on and there's this perfect equipment, scientific equipment. And perhaps, is it, is it all earthbound technology? All right, so already April 5, pings like a Christmas tree on our friends in the middle. In more ways than one. Coincidence or not. April the 6th. So we got the six. Now we got all the sixes from Xinping, Russian Federation, Secret Service, and Russia. And believe me, I called up other possible suspects known for harmful situations. We got the 10 1 evidence again. There's people behind the situation. It's not just one. There's a group of people behind this. And we have the, of course, I'm repeating myself, but I'm looking at it in the context of America. Um, this scientific experiment is very much present. April the 7. And in fact, I'm just going back to that four. The four must be an orange. Uh, eight. April 7. So, of course, the seven pings on Russia. In fact, pings on China, pings on Vladimir Putin, pings on Russian Secret Service. I might as well just make them all orange. It becomes very significant when you have these direct matches, like in the same position. Um, like now this 11-2 on April the 7th pings directly on the 11-2 of China. Now the summary day is where for me, before I want to start recording, I need the confirmation on the summary day. If I have the confirmation on the summary day, then I'm good to go. So on the April 8th, of course, we have the anomalous three eights. That's a other geological anomaly or electric pulse, whatever, electronic anomaly. We have the 12.3 pings directly on Xinping and on Russia. Summary day. We have the 22 outcome pings directly on Russia. And we have the 11-2, which also, again, pings directly on China.
So we got the cohorts and the 22, just even on a face value, it's two organizations coming together for unlawful activity, 11-2, of a geological, scientific, anomalous basis, triple eights. Manipulation. So again, I'll just say for clarity purposes, if you missed the beginning, my intention was to look at these five earthquakes from a geological, natural disaster situation with the intention to see if we pick up any sequence or patterns similar in each of the earthquakes. And I'll just show you the chart again quickly. I believe I have found patterns. But because of the current duration of the show, I'm going to do that as a part two, if you may, please. Uh, let's focus on year first. So when I got to Taiwan and New Jersey, New York earthquake, although I started looking at it from a geological point of view, um, before even bringing any dates into this, that 15, 6, 15 with an outcome 6 on April the 3rd for me was problematic. And the 9 and the stack of 8s on April the 5th for me is problematic. Um... And there's too many matches here. So coincidence or not? Oh, I've just been shown. Oh my goodness. Zingping has the 18 nines here. So now, because I mentioned those UFO shows, it's now alerted me to So this equipment, would it, would it be, I mean, I'm not an electronic engineer or anything by that means, but, uh, you know, you create these frequencies. I suppose you can create it man-made now, but I wonder if there's any alien technology involved as well. So to summarize... I think there's no coincidence that Taiwan and America, let's say, had earthquakes in the same week. And with the current situation in the Pacific, with the rising tensions between China and America, and let's not forget uh, Putin's disgraceful war in Ukraine um, that these three superpowers are going to come together and that unfortunately aligns with the vision that I had um, a few years ago now I want to raise the issue of the World War Three that everyone's talking about. So, of course, there has been discussion about World War Three, and um, of course, what we're seeing in the East, and of course, in the North with Israel, um, and the war in Ukraine. Of course, there is tension in the air. Eight, being in an eight year does speak to wars. of grotesque proportions because war is not a nice thing and very violent on the human body. Um, but I do believe there will be a coming together between these three powers. Um, 
But America needs to be careful here because China on its own is huge <laughs> and Russia on its own is huge. Now, of course, America has alliances. Um, Let's hope for the best, that things can simmer down. Um, if I do receive any messaging or any further messaging around wars, I will sure to let you know on my diary page on my website. Um, but all I can say for now is eight does bring about war and violence of that nature. The look at the Taiwanese and New Jersey earthquakes with, I guess that's how investigations work. And um, we will monitor and look at other events, anomalous, unnatural events, in my opinion. So, all right. Let me know what your thoughts are, what your comments are. I do love engaging with you guys. You're a wonderful community. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'll do the historical earthquake one. And, uh, of course, if there's any... Um, and then uh, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay alert.